Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Rosie. In this video, I will show you how Windows prefetch files serve as a crucial artifact in digital forensic investigations. If you need a quick refresher on what Windows prefetch files are and how they are useful in digital forensics, I invite you to read this article in MCSI's library. You can find the link to this article in the description box below. For this demonstration, we will execute a malware sample on a virtual machine. Then, we will acquire the prefetch file generated upon its execution. We will process the prefetch file using a standard tool to get information about the malware behavior. Now I will execute the malware sample called Snake Keylogger. As soon as the sample is run, a prefetch file is created for it. Prefetch files are stored in the C drive within the Windows prefetch folder. Here we will locate the prefetch file for the sample we executed. Prefetch file names correspond to the executable for which it was created. Now I will copy this prefetch file and paste it in another folder called Evidence. This activity is to simulate acquisition of evidence. We have a command line tool called PECMD that can parse this prefetch file and provide us with information about it. All prefetch files have the extension .pf. We can see the executable's name for which this prefetch file is created. We can see how many times this file has been executed, along with the execution timestamps. Then we can see the list of directories used by this malware. Finally, we can view the list of dynamic link libraries used by this malware sample. In one of our real-life investigations, the victim organization knew the date that they were first breached. We could use prefetch files to search for executables that were first created or seen on that date. This enabled us to discover the names of the initial executables that the adversary used as part of their spear phishing attack. From there, we used other forensics techniques to recover the entire timeline of the breach. Here is an important tip to remember when working with malware samples. Before you begin your experiment, take a snapshot of your virtual machine. Hypervisors like VirtualBox have a feature that allow you to take a snapshot of the VM. Then run your experiment by executing the malware sample on the VM. At this stage, your VM is infected by malware. Once your experiment is over, you can revert your VM to its original good state simply by restoring the snapshot. The infected state of the VM will be lost. This is like using a disposable virtual machine. It is extremely important that you avoid running dangerous malware samples on your host computer. The prefetch file is just one important forensic artifact that you can acquire from a Windows computer. There will be other artifacts like event logs and memory dumps to analyze. The findings you observe from the different forensic artifacts will help you recover the incident timeline. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to MCSI YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!